Here's a poser. How does Little Red Riding Hood, a disobedient child with eyesight poor as her judgment, escape mutilation from her confrontation with the most feared and hated creature of the forest? Hmm? She wouldn't, of course. But don't tell the brothers Grip. The story begins with a standard mother-daughter conflict. Mother gives daughter detailed instructions and advice, which daughter immediately ignores. Is there a moral here? Little Red Riding Hood, take these cakes and bottle of wine to your grandmother. She's very ill and weak. Don't stray from the path or talk to anyone on the way. With pleasure, Mother. I'll do just as you say. The forest is home to many animals, and not all are fit for pets or food. What oh, delightful and cuddly creatures. I could eat them all up. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you headed this beautiful day? To visit my grandma, sir, under the three big oak trees. An excellent destination, my dear. Enjoy your journey. Take your time. What a happy thought. I'll collect a butterfly or two and some flowers. Granny will be grateful. What a credulous ninny. The wolf's already selected Granny for his entree. While she dawdles, he's on his way to the Three Oaks. Granny loves flowers. I'll pick a few. She won't even notice if I'm a bit late. Having previously demonstrated the acuity, if not the temperament of a rock, no one should be surprised that Red Riding Hood is outmaneuvered by the wolf when she arrives at a granny's. Come in, little... <coughs> Come in, little Red Riding Hood. And bring the cake and wine. However, did she know what I brought? She sounds as though she's very ill. My granny, I never noticed how big your mouth is. And your grooming. You look nearly wild. Appearances are deceiving, my dear. <clears throat> Sometimes. Her cries for mercy were in vain, of course. Mercy was not in the wolf's nature. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood joined her granny in the dark. I've heard of a room or two, but this verges on the incredible. All wolves and pythons have more in common than I imagined. Granny, I wonder where you'd got to. I brought cakes and wine. There was a wolf in your bed. What is that smell? Unless I very much miss my guess, my dear, we're in the belly of the beast. Surely not. It stinks worse than our privy. But it's a bit cleaner. That looks like Mrs. Schmidt's arm. Very distinctive tattoo. In perhaps the most far-fetched rescue ever, a lumberjack with an expert sense of lupine anatomy passes by. This worthy naturalist, noting the wolf's belly is dangerously distended, relieves the creature's distress with his scalpel-sharp axe and simultaneously saves both women from the wolf's digestive juices. Well, isn't that amazing? What were you two up to in there, anyway? Very little. It was quite dark. My ears hurt. The wolf gobbled us up. You can't blame a creature for being hungry. I sewed him up and let him go. I'm sure he's learned a lesson. Really? What do you think of that, Grandma? We'll eat the cakes and drink the wine. After I take a hot bath. The wolf learned a lesson, all right. They've all got rocks in their heads. What a crock. I mean, what kind of parent sends a child into the woods alone? What child mistakes a savage wolf for her beloved grandma? And nobody dies? If you'd like to add a bit of flavor and spice to this tasteless, if happy meal, play on. Once there was a way to get back home again. But not anymore. A simple stroll in the woods can be a walk on the wild side. Tell me that's not a good thing. I'll say you're wrong. Mother sends Little Red Riding Hood to tend her aged granny and implores the child not to dawdle along the way. Isn't that precious? I hate it. Let's fix it. Make it stinky. Let's move.
secret found! But stomp it! Get back. Disgusting. 
to grandma's while little red riding hood the thoughtless twit picks flowers i'd like to see granny get that chomp and red deserves some grief for her behavior make it foul let's move at grandmother's house. The ninny makes it to Granny's. But is she in time? Oh, I certainly hope not. Make it gruesome. Rum! 
jumping, stomping, butt kicking good. Enough for me. Cease the charade, wolf. Make it disgusting. Need some refurbishing? Stop enjoying the digestive juices! Make it smelly! Rompin', stompin', butt kicking good!
Kit Groose. Rompin', stompin', butt kicking good. Red Riding Hood and Grandma are rescued by a woodsman. Ah, everything good has to end. I'd hoped they'd melt away in there. As it is, the woodsman has salvaged their worthless hides. Now they'll want revenge. Well, let's make sure it's painful. Make it foul. Thank <laughs> you. 
stomp and stomp. Finally, the wolf gets the shaft. Not really fair, is it? The beast was only doing what came naturally, but if he's going to die, let's make sure it's gruesome. Make it disgusting. Secret now, are ya? Stomp it! Final reward, the old wolf dashes. <laughs> that really showed them. Now that we've made these tasty revisions, the story bears a passing resemblance to a decent tale. I mean, when a big bad wolf meets a young girl alone in the woods, what are the chances that she would escape their meeting without violence? No, no. There's no happily ever after here. Someone or something had to die. Changes had to be made, you see. No choice, really. Red, you lazy slut. Go see if the old bag's ready for the worms. If she's still kicking, steal some eggs or a piece of cheese. Don't dally! I'm starving. Come closer, my pretty dove. Small birds make tasty treats. This one has a metallic aftertaste. You wouldn't like it. I'll see you again. Not if I see you first, and my granny has a gun! Ah, oh, going to granny's, are we? Well, I'll make sure to avoid that repulsive hole. Granny demands flowers and proves the smell of her place. She never asks where or how I get them. Oh. I'm nearly ill, I ain't so much. Oh, Granny wasn't even that good. <laughs> but there's always room for dessert. Granny, you look terrible, if you don't mind me saying. But I'm pretty on the inside. <laughs> Granny, do you have your toad stabber? It's still in my apron, damn it, blood. Gonna slit his gut and roll our sorry butts out of here. What about the back door? Do you have any matches? That gas leak looks promising. Smells good too. Alas, I've got nothing but my birthday suit. The wolf, inebriated and helpless from his recent meal, was set upon by a half-crazed bounty hunter who had been tracking him for weeks. Only by chance did Granny and Red Riding Hood escape the blade of his fearsome axe. They tumbled out of his belly, stinking, but allegedly no worse for women. Granny, the woods are nasty and wild. You should move to the village. I'd have to see your mother too often. No thank you. And the woods are safer now. 
But there are still big bad wolves, and maybe you won't be so lucky next time. Worst things have happened. You might miss me. Nobody else would. Now I'll die another day. They might have survived. I doubt it. In the French version, Perrault says they both got gobbled up and digested. It warms the heart and other parts when all the creatures in a tale get what they deserve. May all our stories end so well. Until next time.